The very first words that the Church puts on our lips on this beautiful feast day of our Holy Founder, the words of the Invitatory at Matins, sum up for us the whole of the project of St. Philip's life and its continuation in the institute which he founded, the Oratory. Come, let us adore the King of Kings, for he has called us into the house of prayer. That's what oratory means, a place of prayer. And what we have in St. Philip Neri is someone who became that place himself. In the accounts of his life, we know that from his earliest years he had a great propensity for prayer. He sought opportunities in places of seclusion, particularly during the hours of darkness. During the time when he was living with his uncle, he found uh, a, a little chapel in the fissure of a mountain, a chapel dedicated to the Most Holy Trinity, and there he made a place of prayer. When he came to Rome, he sought the seclusion of the catacombs. During the hours of the night, he visited the churches of the city during the day, and often during the hottest part of the day, when few people would have been around. When he came to gather people together in what was to become the oratory, it was to pray that he gathered them. His first work with the young people of Rome and those who were first to join him in serving that group was unambiguously a work centred on prayer. And those who looked at St. Philip in the church today, his sons, members of the, of the Oratorian family, and men and women who look to St. Philip as a spiritual guide, look to him essentially as someone who calls them to the sanctification of their lives through the work of prayer. Many of our houses, as you enter, the words you see inscribed over the doorway are those words which were so familiar to St. Philip and really summarise his work with us. My house shall be called a house of prayer. Well, how pleased we are that St. Philip has called us into his house and that he's built in his house in this place just as he has in so many other places to which he brings this possibility of sanctification, this help that we so greatly need. St. Teresa of Avila says, nothing is achieved without prayer. How we know that to be true and how difficult it is so often to pray or to make the prayer that we know we should make. That's why we need someone to help us, to teach us, to show us and to encourage us. And at the heart of the life of the oratory is the example of a priest who does that and who does it so unfailingly and so generously that he's very willing to share those graces with others. So it's as a man of prayer we come to St. Philip today, particularly in the challenges of the present time, how important it is to pray how important it is not to be discouraged and not to lose our focus and not to remember the most important things. The Church continually proposes to us the saints who are a magnificent demonstration of doing just that. And we have in our wonderful patron a great example. Normally at the end of this Mass there would be the veneration of the relic, I don't suppose we can do that this year, but on the altar is the relic of St. Philip Neri, and also the 
relic of the patron of this parish, St. Thomas Apostle. We look to them, we ask them to share with us something of the faith that they were able to profess so confidently and so magnificently. But perhaps chiefly this year, we ask for that grace which was so particularly St. Philip's, that infused, infused prayer of the Holy Spirit, which came to him so naturally and which he gave himself to so consistently throughout a long life. May that prayer be found in us and may St. Philip be our Father and our guide. St. Philip Neri, pray, pray for, for us. us.